all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all uh, today it's a topic I don't really like to talk about it but I find myself I have to speak about it uh, you know from time to time <clears throat> we we witness some uh, discussion and sometimes the discussion is a stupid and it's very naive and uh, look like you know we have a lot of people who claim to be Christians but they are ignorant about the Bible uh, before we start talking I am not a Catholic I am not a Protestant I am not an Orthodox I am a follower of Jesus the Christ <clears throat> all the names I just mentioned I accept them as churches names but I don't follow buildings I don't follow priest I don't follow Bishop I don't follow Pope I follow no man I follow only my Lord and I hope that people who they are listening they will listen carefully because I am sick of stupidity the second you decide to defend an organization you are no Christian no more when somebody he say I am a Catholic as if he is saying to me I am stupid and what I mean by that I mean, why are you that you are a Catholic do I need to know do I need really to know I don't this is the church name you go to or this is the church you belong to so why you are saying to me that you are a Catholic what is what exactly the point to say so what are you trying to tell me and when somebody want to say to me he is a Protestant what what the point I mean what, what just tell me you believe in who who is your God who is your Savior the rest I don't care for I care to know if you are following a cult like if you are a follower of Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormon because that will change the whole thing today we are going to answer you see I hate lies I hate lies if somebody want to say something about the Catholic say it but at least be truthful and obviously there's many dumb people they have no idea what the Catholic believe and they have many dumb Catholic they don't know what even the Protestant believe I heard stupidity from both sides, and that remind me of the stupid Muhammad who do not understand what the Christians believe but that is the dumb Muhammad and it's a shame that you are dumb the same as Muhammad Muhammad you do not know what the Trinity mean Muhammad do not know what the Christians believe in Muhammad do not know what the Bible says Muhammad he think God he have sex with Mary and have a baby his name Jesus Muhammad he have a lot of stupidity so don't do what Muhammad do don't speak about the Catholic without reading from the Catholic books not from somebody making an article and don't speak about the Protestant without reading from the Protestant and speaking to the Protestant and then you will learn what they believe in because I saw many people making lies from both parties about each other and I'm sick of you both for sure I'm not talking about the good ones I'm talking about the ones who is being ignorant dump he don't want to go and read so I decide to make this video and the video is very simple by the way anyone in the text will attack other church I'm going to ban you get lost I'm making this video to show you that we should not attack each other so if you are here to do that I'm going to send you free shipping and handling to the to the ass of Muhammad not to the ass of Allah is my word clear I will, I will send you free shipping and handling and I'll push you in the ass of Muhammad himself even though he's dead excuse my language because some people they make me really upset so you know somebody sent me this uh, website and this is the article uh, well sis you just what I just say don't tell me that you are a Catholic otherwise I will ban you here we go you, you earn my ban anyone will say he is a Catholic or he is a Protestant you are banned I don't want here Catholic I don't want here a Protestant I don't want here Orthodox I want people who believe in Jesus the Christ as Lord and Savior if you don't belong to Jesus go belong to the church you talk to if you have a better name than the name of Jesus then call your name with better name 
Shame on you to say I am Catholic. Shame on you to say I'm Protestant. Shame on you to say I am an Orthodox. You should say I am a Christian for this is the name of Christ. And this is the only name is given to us in the Bible. What a bunch of stupid idiot people. You don't know, you do not know Jesus. Here we go, another stupid idiot. He just said the Catholic they created Islam. Why? Because some stupid videos they say that the Catholic is the one who fought Islam, you idiot. If not the Catholic, you will be Muslim by now. They are the only one who stand for the Muslims and they are the crusade. Did you forget who is the crusade? What a dumb idiot. A bunch of donkeys and donkey donkeys have better brain than them. You see, you have the brain of Muhammad himself. The donkey Muhammad is smarter than you. Now look, this is an article. List of Catholic heresies and human traditions. Number one. Of all the human traditions taught, practice Roman Catholic, which is a contrary in the Bible, the most ancient prayer for the dead and the sign of the cross. I mean, it, this is this is what made the Catholic and the Christians the sign of the cross. How many times the word the cross mentioned in the Bible? How many times we heard the Protestants saying we are saved by the cross of Jesus? How many Protestants they have a cross in their churches? The cross of the Catholic is bad. Your cross is good. Prayers for the dead. The Catholic they pray for the saint, right? They say the saint pray for us. Let me tell you how stupid you are. Isn't it the Bible says that many saints they are resurrected with Jesus? So not all the saints are dead. Idiot and dumb. Walks and candles. How come I never saw one saying that the Protestant, sorry, the, 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 the Jews are heresy? Don't the Jews they have the menorah? Huh? Don't they have the Hanukkah? How come you say that you don't say the Jews are heresy? So who who told you that the, the candles are uh, are heresy? Where do you get this from? It's exists by the Jews long before the Catholic is exist. Stupid dumb idiots. I mean all of those mass as daily celebration. So are you angry because those people they want to pray every day? We've been ordered to pray always, not only not only every day. So if the Catholic they pray every day, that will make them heresy and will make them bad. I mean, do you see how stupid this article is? <laughs> I mean, find me something real. They worship Mary, a big fat lie. I never heard of one Catholic believe in Mary as God. And I challenge you to find me one statement said by the Catholic saying that Mary is God and look how stupid they are they say the, the 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 Catholic they say Mary is the mother of God she is your idiot who is Jesus God who is Mary his mother <laughs> is that true or, or they are lying you see I don't use this I don't use this uh, this word uh, uh, but I understand what the Catholic are saying because they call Mary the mother of God that will make her they make them worship her that's your intelligent no they don't and you are a liar and they are saying what the Bible says and they are saying what you believe too because you believe that Mary is the mother of Jesus and we ask you who is Jesus you will say Jesus is my God okay so who is Mary the mother of Jesus okay <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean you know uh, you see we are born again Christians not dump again as Muhammad don't be dump as as Muhammad the Muhammadans don't be stupid as Allah. Be truthful and don't make up lies. 
so they worship no Mary and having mass every day there's no problem with it and there is angels are and saints are alive and nothing wrong with saying pray for me don't we say to people pray for me those saints who resurrected with Jesus in his resurrection if I say to them pray for me what's wrong with that Priests, they began to dress differently. Well, do you dress like Jesus yourself too? Do you, as a Protestant, do you dress like Jesus? Why are you are dressing lately differently? Who, who, like, do Jesus used to wear jeans? I mean, are you trying to find a reason to believe that they are teaching something wrong? Or you are trying to find a stupidity. None of those things make the Catholic not the Christians for me. If you say the Catholic they don't believe in Jesus resurrection, yeah, that will make them not the Christians for sure. If you say they believe that Mary is not virgin, they believe they don't believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they don't believe blah blah blah. You know, then that will make them not the Christians. But they are. They believe in all of those things. So my friends, I don't like to talk about this topic much, but I am sick of the stupidity and the liars. Some, they lie, they say the Catholic, they made, the, they created Islam. Are you stupid or dumb? What do you mean they created Islam? There was no Catholic in the Arabian Peninsula. What Catholic? You're idiot. Even Muhammad, he don't have a Christians around him. He have Nasara. Dump stupid like I saw a video of a stupid idiot guy. He's saying that uh, Khadija she was a Catholic nun <laughs> Khadija she have a bunch of kids and she have three husbands you idiot She was a Catholic nun Your children's are the victims of your priest lies for they are the same as the priest Muhammad. Muhammad, he claimed to be the priest of God. And he starts saying lies about others, saying lie, lies about the Christians, lies about the Jews, lies about everybody around him. If this is the only way to earn a credit for yourself, you are following the devil. When the Catholic they say Hail Mary, you idiot! This is a this is a verses in the Bible. The the, the 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 angels when they came to her, they say to her Hail Mary. Go and read the verses. They are just repeating what what the verses saying in the Bible. However, I don't agree with repeating it. Repeating it is for me. It is it is an ignorant behavior. Jesus said, "Don't repeat yourself." Right? When you pray, don't repeat yourself. So there's many things I don't agree with it. I don't agree with the statues. I don't agree with the idols. I don't agree with the stupid things the, the, the some Catholic they have in their churches, but still that will not make them not Christians. If you go in the Bible, you will see who is the Christians. It is not you. It is not me who decide who is the Christian, who is not. It is the Bible decide. And what Jesus said, there is tons of verses explaining to us who is the one is considered to be Christians. As an example, if you go, if you go to Second Timothy, you, you will see it says like it's saved that the one, uh, uh, you know, uh, the one who will give the grace to, uh, uh, given to to, G, uh, to us by Jesus, the one who uh, who do all the purpose of the grace. In the book of Acts, when they ask, who is the one who will be saved? Who is the one who will be saved? The answer was, believed in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Do the Catholic believe in the Lord Jesus? Do they have other God? No. Do they believe that Mary is their God? It's a lie. No. Do they believe in the Pope, that he is a, his God? No. They believe in one Lord, and that his name is Jesus the Christ. And if a Catholic he says to you that the Protestant they are not blessed by God and blah blah starts saying lies about them, shut him up for he is lying. 
the Protestant, they are good people who love Jesus and they worship Jesus the way it should be worshipped. And actually, they are very active and they go and do missionaries and go around the world and bring people to Jesus. They are wonderful people. Muhammad in the Quran, he said a clear plan. In chapter 5, verse 14, he said that Allah, he said supposedly, I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. I will spread hate and enmity. So when you divide the Christians, my friend, you are working for Muhammad God, the devil. Someone will say to me that the Catholic they say they will be saved by deeds. And no, it, they, they don't say that. They don't say that. They will say they say that if we don't do deeds, then how we are Catholic. And I agree with that. The Bible says faith without work is dead faith. Imagine you claim that you are a person who loves Jesus. And then a poor guy is in the front of your house in a snow day. And he have no shelter, he have no food. And then you say, God, send him a blanket. God, give him a sandwich, and you close your door. Second day in the morning, the guy will be dead. You are the dead one, not him. You are a false Christian, and your deeds proven it. So we are not saved because of the deeds, but if we don't have deeds, that means we are no Christians. It is not the deeds are saving us, which means we don't do deeds to be saved. No. We do good for God is good and he ordered us to do good. So if the Catholic encourage their followers to do good deeds, that's a good thing. And if you say we do not need deeds to be saved, that's meaning you can be a prostitute, a hooker, a drug dealer, and you don't do anything. You say, I believe in Jesus, and you are saved. This is not what Christianity is about. Jesus said it clearly. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. But the one who do his will, what his will? If somebody asks you for to walk with him one step, you walk 1,000. One, one if somebody asks you for your coat, you give him your dress. So Jesus, he taught us that we have to do the work. So who told you Christianity do not need deeds? So what the Christianity is about then, that we, are, we can be evil, and then just because we believe in Jesus, we are saved? Is that a license for sin? This is what the Muslim tried to say about us, lying about Christianity, saying that the Christians, they say they are saved by Jesus. That means they can do anything. They can go drink and have sex around and do drugs and blah, 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 blah. And then Jesus said, it, this is not Christianity. Not a single place in the Bible it says such a thing. It's a lie. Either you are with God or you are against him. There's no so-so. Jesus, you don't like warm water. Either you are cold or you are hot. So-so are not likely to be welcome. When you say, I am a believer, then that will be showing up in your deeds. Otherwise, you are a fake believer. Imagine you are a believer in Christ and you see a blind man across in the street and he might hit a bus or a car and you just watch. What kind of a believer you are? You are a follower of the devil. A believer is someone he do what Jesus did. All this article, I could not find one thing can be really real to be considered a Catholic to be heresy, as it says. I don't agree with them. There's many things I don't like they do. As an example, they repeat a prayer, you know, like a recording machine, 
which is not even smart God is not deaf you pray once he hear you we do not need to repeat the prayer 1,000 times there's no need for idols there's no need for statues there is no need for pictures those things I totally refuse but the rest I don't see really any problem and you know the Pope they kiss the feet of the Pope but the, the Pope himself he kissed their feet too the Bible says it clearly you have to do this he insists to wash the feet of his apostles and he told them clearly if you don't tell me do it you don't belong to me so they kiss the feet of the Pope he kissed their feet too how come you remember that you don't remember that one my friends so you go according to the monastery of a Christ and not Paul what are Christ not Paul we, we don't have something it's called Paul Paul is an apostle of Jesus we go by Jesus what Paul says it's what Christ he said to him we don't follow Paul we don't follow Paul we don't follow Peter we don't follow uh, John we don't follow Mark we follow what the Lord he taught we are a followers of no men So it's really very naive when people they speak in such a way, and nobody wanna nobody wanna even think for a second. I mean, what the, what the, what's wrong with the Catholic? What they do exactly? They love Jesus very much. That will make them bad. They say Hail Mary. Will the Bible say Hail Mary? The angel when they say to her, they came to her. They said, uh, 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 Shalom to you, Mary. Bless thee, Mary. They are repeating what the Bible said. Don't come with uh, with lies to downgrade somebody. Whoever believes in Jesus, he is a follower of Jesus. If we go to Mark, let me remember what. Uh, Mark 9 let me uh, mark 930 let's hold on so mark where Jesus he said the one he is not against us he is with us there was people who they are uh, uh, fighting demon by the name of Jesus fighting the evils by the name of Jesus and then the the uh, uh, the apostle they said to him you know he he's doing this which means they are complaining they should do he do he have the right to do so he's not one of us jesus said the one is not against us he is with us so what he is doing he is teach he is preaching and he is you know doing the, the good work by the name of jesus not by the name of the devil so we have we have to be careful my friend don't play God on others yeah uh, uh, 938 3839 mark 938 39. You know, John, he said to to uh, to Jesus, uh, Master, Lord, there is there is a guy he is he is defeating a, a demon by your name, and we we try to stop him because he is not one of us. What the Messiah? He said, don't stop him. The one who make wonders in my name, make miracles in my name. He is not abusing me. He is doing some something for my glory. The one he is not against us, he is with us. So don't think that you are the only one who have a license. This is what this is what the problem. Some of the Catholic they start saying, or oh, the Protestant, they have no license from Jesus. 
we are assigned by Peter this is in the time of Jesus in the time of Jesus John say to Jesus that there's a person he is not one of us he is not one of the Apostle he is doing wonders using your name defeating demon by your name we try try we try to stop him Jesus he said no don't do that so there is no license for anybody <laughs> what license are you getting my idea guys so if you are a truly a Christian don't be stupid and do what Muhammad said Muhammad he made it so clear that I am going to divide those Christians I will make them hate each other and he said that to the Jews too the plan is not only for you the plan is so clear he will divide you and anyone he do that division he is working for the devil Allah himself from those who call themselves a Christians we took a covenant with them which is false because there's nowhere that God says that God he took a covenant with the Christians that was with Abraham you idiot stupid Muhammad from those who call themselves Christians we did take a covenant but they forgot a good part of the message that was sent to them you know they, they forgot good part but the Quran says confirm what is between their hands stupid liar so we string them with enmity and hatred between one and the other do you see it do you see it Christians when I say the word of Christians, I don't mean Protestant. Some idiot they think when I say Christians, I mean a Protestant. Christians is the only name exists in the Bible for us. There's no Catholic, there's no Protestant, there's no Orthodox. So if you are a truly a believer in Jesus, you call yourself a Christian and forget about those names. Those names have nothing to do with Jesus. We are a Christian, and I call myself a Christian prince. This is not my real name. For there's no better name to carry more than being a Christian. For nothing will make me prince except being a child of the King of Kings. So if you have a better name to follow, go follow the name. Don't, don't, don't claim that you are a Christian. Don't claim that you are a believer in Jesus. This is why when you come here, don't ever say to me, I am a Catholic, I will ban you. Don't ever say to me, I'm Protestant, I will ban you. Don't ever say to me, I am an Orthodox, I will ban you. There's one word you can use. That I am a Christian. That is the only name given to us in the Bible. And this is the only name we follow. We follow no beater. We follow no John, we follow no Mark, we follow no Pope, we follow no Bishop, we follow no priest, we follow no man, for every man is a sinner, including me and you. We follow only one name, that is Jesus the Christ, the Word of God. So either you are being honest with yourself and you decide to say, from now on, I'm not going to call myself any of those names except the name of Jesus, for there's no better name exists in the whole world than this name. Or you are a hypocrite, liar, and you are a deceiver, and you belong to your father, the devil, who trying to divide the Christians. Stop being foolish. There is only one Christ. The Catholic believe in him as Savior. The Protestant believe in him as Savior. And the Orthodox believe in him as Savior. All of us, we are following one God. We are brothers and sisters.
So don't fool yourself, my you know, with with those stupid things, and don't don't be don't you see all those the division happen because of politics, because of kings. You guys, you have no idea what history is about. Go and see how it happened, how it started. The Catholic in the beginning, they have a fight with the with the Orthodox and the Orthodox. We are the right, you are the wrong, you are right, you are wrong. And then the the the, the Turkish they took the East Empire of the Christians because we are di divided, because the devil he was successful to divide us, but was not really division about God, it was division about money, division about kingdomship, the division about two kings fighting over power. Have nothing to do with God. Don't do what the Muslim do. Otherwise, the Messiah one day will come and he will say to you, I do not know you. Depart away from me. You follow bishops, you follow priests, you follow everyone except me. Jesus said even love your enemy. You can't even love your brother in Christ And shower please uh, you know don't use this anti-semitic thing anyone he don't agree with the Jews he's anti-semitic Anyone don't agree with you he's anti-semitic right this is how you try to shut up anyone he speaks something you don't you don't like This is the fastest way to to, sh to silence somebody. Okay, David. I will send you to Muhammad. You are a Muslim for me. Be aware of the false ones who they try to fool you. Those are Muslims. They come here and they play Protestant and they play Orthodox and they play Catholic. And the purpose is to divide you. They knew. That there is between us some stupid idiots they knew they knew everything about you don't make them fool you He can say whatever he want. You can answer him, but not by saying anti-Semitic. This is an old, uh, old game to say. And what's wrong with what he said? Through history, the Jews they did took the side against the Christians. Is that true or wrong? Isn't it the Jews they took the side of the Persian to conquer Jerusalem? Isn't it true that the Jews, they took the side of the Muslims in Spain to conquer Spain? There is some truth there. So why people don't want to say, this is history, you cannot change it. What uh, you do not know uh, why why the Jews they went they 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 win uh, 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 the, the Spanish they went after them when they when they kicked the Muslims because the Jews they were taking side with the Muslims. Anyway, but we have nothing against the Jews. For remember, if not the Jews, you will not even know Christ. All the apostles of Jesus are Jews. So we don't judge the Jews because some of the Jews did something wrong. There is some Christian too, they did something wrong to the Jews too. Right? So we don't want to we, we don't want to be a stupid here. We are talking about teaching of God, we are not talking about history. People they do things, people they do stupid things, people they do killing. People they do hate, people do rape, people do, do all kinds of crimes, and some of them they claim to be following God.
Yeah, the real face is revealed. Get out of here. I don't want to see you here again. You see, I always defend Israel. I always defend the Jews. And now because I said what I said, the real face is revealed. Get lost. <laughs> you think that I am saying that to defend the Jews because uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a favor from the Jews. As an example, there is a guy, his name is Toriva Singer. He is a Jewish rabbi. What he do? Every day he insult Christianity. Is that true? That's true, right? So yeah, there is many of the Jews. They hate Christianity. Why, why we want to lie to ourselves? A lot of them. There's a program in Israel making fun of Mary, calling her calling her whore. Is that true? Or I'm making uh, applies. Life in TV. In America, the Christian they defend the Jews. In Israel, the Jews they are insulting Mary and Jesus. How you do that? You see, we always take the side of the truth when we defend the right of Israel to be exist because they have the right to be exist. When we defend the right of Israel to have their own state because this is their state. We are not taking side with the Jews because just they are Jews. I don't do that. I don't care if you are a Jew or a Hindu or a Buddha. I say the truth as it is. The land belong to the Jews. I'm not doing a favor to the Jews and they are not doing me a favor. I'm just saying the truth as it is. But do the Jews like Christians? Absolutely not. But is all the Jews they are against Christianity? Absolutely wrong. The majority of the Jews already they are Christians. And there's a great names in Israel right now. They are preaching the name of Jesus and they are Jewish Messianic Jews. So Christians, they came to Christ from everywhere. But remember, the first people who joined Christ to be his apostle were the Jews, which mean in that field, they are better than us. All right. But you know, this is what the, some Jews they do. The second you start saying something about the Jew, they say anti-Semitic. It is a it is the fastest way to silence someone. Anti-Semitic. <laughs> anti-Semitic. Even they say that to the to, to the to the Arab, and they and they 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 keep saying that the Arab are the children of Ishmael. How you say anti-Semitic and they are Arab then? If you believe that the Arab are the, the, the sons of Ishmael, how you say anti-Semitic? Are you stupid or, or donkey? Do you know what Semitic mean? Anyway, we have nothing against the Jews except that there is no salvation but by Jesus. So you are a Jew or not, if you do not believe in Jesus, you are going to go to hell. You are the same as the Muslims. The Bible is so clear. There is no salvation but by Jesus. Not by the Catholic, not by the Protestant, not by the Orthodox, by Jesus. You follow a bishop, you follow a rabbi, go, go. Let him help you. Judgment day will come and let us see how the rabbi will help you. Let us see how your bishop will help you. Be truthful, my you know, my friend, and don't don't worry about what people say about you. You see, 
many Jews they say many things against me but I always defend the right of Israel and etc because the second you say something you don't they don't agree with you with they call you all kind of names and they fabricate a lot of lies about you this guy he keep listening to me for the last maybe two years the guy I just banned shower just because he don't I don't he didn't agree with me in something I said something what the Jews did in Spain what the Jews did in Jerusalem right away he starts saying oh he's showing his real face this is history you idiot this is history the Jews this they joined the Persian attacking Jerusalem this is why when the Roman took over Jerusalem again they chased the Jews and this is why you see a lot of them in Persia why because they run away with the Persian their friends this is why you find a lot of them all the way in Mecca anyway but there is a lot of wonderful Jews and there is wonderful Christians who they are Masonic Jews and me myself I met a lot of them they are really wonderful people but the whole point is we don't care who you are we don't we don't count church church by names and we don't consider you holy because you are a Jew I don't care if you are a Jew or not that will not make you too much different really for me if you are a Jew or a Muslim Because obviously both of you you understood God wrong Both of you you are practicing hypocrisy you pray in the corner You fast you want to show your lips is it dry You donate you want everybody to see that you made a donation Even the Sabbath, you got it wrong. And Jesus said, Sabbath was made for the man, not man made for the Sabbath. So you have the law, you have the book, but you have a wrong practice. This is why you see Jesus said, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrite. He was talking about who? He was not talking about the Muslims at that time. And Muhammad, he learned from the Jews to be hypocrite. Praying in the corner, praying outside, playing that you are fasting, you want to show everybody that you are fasting. This is why Jesus said, when you pray, go to your closet. When you fast, put oil in your head, which will make you not fasting, because this is something... People used to do if they are not fasting which means don't do anything will show that you are fasting if you give a right hand don't take the left hand no why because they used to show when they want a donation make donation they do it when the crowd is around if there's no crowd around nobody make donation Anyway, so I wanted to make it clear, and I hope people they are listening carefully. If you come, I don't want to talk about this again. Anyone will come here and he will say, I am a Protestant, I am a Catholic, I am Orthodox, I will ban you, I don't want you. And if you donate for me, go and take your donation, I don't want it. If you donate to me, to me you think you can buy me with a few dollars, I fight for my faith, I fight for the truth, I don't, I don't work for no one. I want somebody here to say I am a follower of a Christ I am a warrior of a Christ if you are a warrior of a bishop don't don't say you are a Christian just don't claim to be so you belong to who you belong to go to him
who is the one saying synagogue of Satan what is that synagogue of Satan who is the one said synagogue synagogue of Satan left sim reform Judaism you see Thomas you are being too much now I think it's time to put you off you are being stupid too look like you have a problem with the Jews too I don't like stupid talk here be truthful don't be a donkey there's not nothing is called synagogue of Satan the synagogue you are talking about you idiot Jesus he went inside the temple and he said this is the house of my father so how stupid of you to say synagogue of Satan Isn't it Jesus who went inside the temple and he flipped tables on those Jews who made buying and selling inside the temple? And he said, you made the house of my father a market for buying and selling? So how is stupid of you to say the synagogue of the devil? How you can fight the fifth of Islam if you if you are the same like them look at you Shia Sunni Ahmadiyya Shish Kebab Stupidity everybody claim that he is the you know the correct one and the rest are garbage we don't have this garbage in Christianity my friend salvation is only with the Messiah not with Paul not with Peter, not with Mark, not with Luke, not with the Pope, not with the Christian Prince, only with the Messiah. This is a Christianity. Anything else is have nothing to do with Christ. And you are a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu. You have no salvation if you don't accept the Messiah. So if somebody come here and he think he's a Jew, so he have a special treatment, not in my present, my friend. The Jew are laws the same as everybody. You are no different from the Muslims. And you are not saved. And actually you might be punished more than others because the Lord, he came to you first. Imagine he came to you. You are lucky. You are the most lucky person. I came for my people and my people rejected me. So I'm not against you to be Catholic or to be Protestant or to be Orthodox, but don't come here and say I am Catholic and Protestant. I will dump you right away. This is just the name of a church you go to. For me, it means nothing. I never ask anyone if you are a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. I am not interested. All what I want to know, do you believe that the Messiah is your Savior? Do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross and he resurrected and he was coming back? Do you believe that he is going to be our judge and Savior in the judgment day? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? It is with us right now. If you believed, I mean, who cares what the church you go to? Go. Whatever the church you name, there's millions of names, especially these days, you know, anyone can, like you can open a church. And actually, since the time of Jesus, people, they can open a church. Jesus said, every two of you mention my name, I will be the third. That's a, that is a church. Right now, we are a church. We do not need a name. Do we need a name? Do we need a name for our church? We do not need a name. The only name we need is the name of the Messiah. Anything else is not needed. Understand the spirit of a Christianity, which is to forgive others. Forgive to me the same as I forgive to others. This is what Jesus said to you when you pray. What do you do? Forgive to others. I forgive to me the same as I forgive to others. 
So before you are going to be forgiven, you need to learn how to forgive. So if somebody, let us say, through a history from different church, he did something wrong, my friend, learn, learn what Jesus said. You forgive to your brother 70 times. And those who they are around you is not the one who did the bad things anyway. If there is any honest Christian, he tried to be honest with himself and he asked himself a very simple question. What Jesus he liked to be witnessing? Unity or division? I think the answer is very simple. If you ask yourself, do you think Jesus he liked to see there is a Protestant and Orthodox and Catholic or only Christians who they are one family around the world? Be honest with yourself and ask the question and get the answer. You will know. You know the answer. Unity is it from Jesus. The vision is from the devil. So which side you want to take? That's up to you. Seventy times seven, yes. I know that synagogue of Satan, but but you know if you if you if you quote that ver of uh, that word in the wrong wrong place, that will make people you know see it differently. Uh, you see any any statement from the Bible, I can use it in the wrong location. Synagogue of the devil is not about synagogue. Go and read the Revelation, and you will know what it is. So don't use verses have nothing to do with our topic and just put it there. Intelligent is required. And actually, you know, I hate to uh, to make videos about those topics, but people they force me. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with people. They make me sick. Catholic, Protestant, I mean sick, I'm sick of you. What Catholic? What is a Protestant? What is that? I mean, do you are you a Khomeini who think he have the keys of Allah? The keys of heaven? What about you print keys and you give it to your followers? Everybody claiming that he is the one holding the keys. I mean, you, none of you have a keys of anything. <laughs> it's like a storage house, and they are fighting over who holds the keys. This is Islam, my friend. This is not us. We don't believe in such a thing. Anyway, you see, uh, when somebody quote for us a verse from the Bible, and as an example, like somebody quote the synagogue of Satan, but you forgot that, that he's talking to people who they are Jews too. And the one is talking, he's, you know, like the, the, the revelation, the revelation is given to the Jews. So do you think Jesus saying to the Jews who they are his apostle, you are a person who belong to the synagogue of Satan? He is talking about those who say that they worship God, they love God, but they are lying. They don't belong to him. But that is not for every synagogue. Doesn't mean that when you see a synagogue, that's mean this is this is a synagogue of Satan. Try to use the verses in the right place. 
anyway uh, tomorrow uh, I will be uh, I will be live on air at 12 uh, p.m. and I will be uh, a guest of uh, someone who invited me to be in his uh, show uh, he's from the UK uh, so I will have my YouTube on and we can we can be here all together you know uh, but uh, uh, you know again I don't want to repeat myself if you don't want to be banned from my text don't say I am Catholic I will ban you don't say I'm a Protestant I am Orthodox I will ban you I promise Because the second you start mentioning those things, the vision will show up. Uh, I don't know him. His uh, his name is Ben. It looked like he have many followers. I don't know. Like uh, you know. Anyway. I will be happy to in his show. Doesn't hurt. Yeah. I don't know them guys. Uh, somebody told me uh, he uh, you know he contacted somebody and that person he contacted me and then I uh, you know I look at his uh, Twitter and look like he have a weekly show and I said fine. I don't even ask him what the topic it doesn't matter really for me you know I know why why they are why they are inviting me yeah exactly why they are busy talking about those uh, uh, names because because they are seeking division and many of them even the good ones you know by the way there's a good ones because they are naive you know they are like uh, yeah the Catholic they are wrong yeah look what they do look what they do what they do what they do what what stop being a stupid and look what you do too and before you before you look at your brother at the little tiny piece of wood in his eye what about you see the big eye big wood in your eye you see people go into church but he have a boyfriend she is sleeping with a guy and this guy is sleeping with this girl and that etc and then you, yet they claim to be Christian I mean, what kind of Christianity is Christianity is? Muhammad Christianity, who speak about being decent, but yet he is screwing everybody, excuse my language, who is speaking about to be a, a, a person who obey God and not to do adultery, but yet he have tons of women in his bed? Before you start throwing rocks at others, Look at yourself. What do you do? All of us, we are sinners. And the Catholic are good people. They are serving. They are. They have a great charities. You know, I don't like really. I don't. To be honest with you, I don't like priests. I don't like them. I don't know. I'm a person like you know. I uh, when I see a person, either I like him or I don't feel comfortable with him. But I don't like to see people wearing clothes of a priest, because. Close of a priest is right away trying to give you impression that he is a good holy man. I don't want to judge you to be holy by your clothes. Jesus said that from their fruits, you shall know them. Don't show me your your, your uniform. That will not make you make me consider you to be a good person. From their fruits. So if you want to judge a Christian, judge him not because he's a Catholic, not because he's a Protestant, not because he is an Orthodox. You have the right to judge him. Yes, you do. Somebody will say to me, the Bible says judge not. No, the Bible says judge. Because the Bible says judge them, you will know them from their fruits. What, what does that mean? It's meaning you judge the fruits. So if there is somebody... It doesn't matter what the church you go to. It doesn't matter what, even if he is a Hindu. He's a good person. 
Say he's a good person. You see, who said that all the Christians are the good ones? There's many beautiful, nice people around the world. They are Buddhas, they are Hindus, they are from everywhere. Judge them by their fruits. Now, they will go to heaven, they will not go to heaven. That is not your business. This is the business of the Lord, the Creator who created them. You do your job. You deliver the message. You tell them about Christ. You tell them that the only salvation is by Jesus. But it's not your job to send people to hell and people to heaven. You see a person... And this person is a wonderful person but because he is a wonderful person you would like to invite him to see me to, to, to meet the Messiah so you tell him about the Messiah and you tell him what he should do how he can be saved now he want to be saved or not this is his business it's not you who says to him you are you are uh, you will end in hell you tell him the Bible says so there's only salvation by the Messiah my friend do you want to accept the Messiah you deliver, but the Bible says, if it, if you go to a town and they, they refuse to receive the the word of God, just to clean your, your your sandals from the dust and leave. How you know if you have a good tree or a bad tree? Is that by the look or by the fruits? There's many trees, they have a very nice look. But their fruits is disgusting and there's some trees they look ugly but their fruits are delicious and that's exactly how we are human beings some of them they look so beautiful by look a man he is so handsome a woman she is so beautiful but they are the most ugly people you can imagine for their fruits is disgusting and then you will see a man, you know, he's homeless, he's, he smells bad, he maybe he did not take a shower for a year, living under the bridge, but he never harmed anyone. He's a wonderful person. If he can help, he help. He never hate anyone. You see, the Jews in a certain time, they are the same as the Muslim. They believe it, what goes in your mouth will make you dirty. The Messiah, he told them that you are getting things wrong. Those things you're forbidden to eat, not because will make you dirty. It is not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty. It's what come from your mouth. The Muslim, they fast. The Muslim, they, they pray. The Muslim, etc. But their mouth is filthy. They don't eat pork. But who is who have a more dirty mouth than the Muslims? Who is the one who teach hate more than the Muslims? Who is the one who pray the first thing in the morning to the death of the Christians and the Jews more than the Muslims? So what is the benefit of your fruit or the food you eat? It's a stupid to believe that you are clean because you don't eat certain food. A person who eat cockroaches is a lot more clean than a person who call for the death of others. So you know we don't we don't want people to uh, 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 to throw rocks at each other. We are brothers and sisters, and I say to the Catholic, you know, I really I appreciate the Catholic people, but this is an advice from me to the Catholic. Status is wrong. Specifically, status is wrong. Brain in front of statues with my respect to my brothers and sisters the Catholic is a stupid It's a piece of rock And it's not biblical and nothing to do with Jesus Otherwise The rest I don't have really any problem with it But we do not need statues who need them did jesus made any status for anyone before he uh, before he was resurrected 
did he if he did not why you want to do make a status did he Jesus says make a status for Mary even Jesus he never called Mary mother he called her woman and the reason is very simple he is her Lord so there is some wrong practice but still that will not make them bad people they are good people who love Jesus very much who worship him who believe in him and they believe in his resurrection and his coming back the rest for me is not you know not enough to make them not to be Christians they are Christians You wish you can call your mom, your mother a mom, a mom? Okay. Well, you can. If you do, uh, <laughs> you see, uh, uh, did you see the video of I, I have in mind? There's the there is a woman, she called the sheikh, and she said to the sheikh, uh, my grandmother, she did the breast feeding for me. And the sheikh, he said to her, now you became a sister of your mother. So all what you need to do, ask your grandmother to do breastfeeding for you. And then your mother, she will become your sister, and then you call you can call her by her name, or you can call her woman. Do we have any Muslim here? You know, Islam is a very stupid religion. I mean, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, Muhammad he made a verse saying adoption is not allowed, and then he is teaching people at the same time that if you do breastfeeding from somebody, you became like sisters. I mean, isn't this stupid? Is adoption is okay? Because this is adoption. What do you mean, sister? And by the way, when a man he do breastfeeding for an adult in Islam, this is will not avoid, uh, like uh, that person will not be a sister or anything. Which means still you can have sex with that person. So what for? You can go right now, check and Google. Madness and stupidity. And if every every if every man he became a, a brother to his uh, the the women he suckle her breast, well, all those who do porn, they are brothers and sisters. Then there's a Muslim guy. He he called the sheikh. He said when I was uh, you know doing things with my wife. A drop of milk fell in my mouth when I was, you know, you know. So did I became her brother? <laughs> the guy he have a bunch of kids from her. They have, they are living for many years together, and now because a drop of milk in his mouth, another another guy he called. Uh, I forget it's a guy or a girl uh, that he ate with his fiance uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Do now she considered as a as a as a sister? I mean, what a stupid religion. Are you Hindu or what? The Hindu they say our our, our mother the cow. What do you mean? Uh, you know, the, you ate ice cream from both of you. You became brother and sisters. Stupidity sometimes is amazing. So anyway, uh, I I hope that people they they learn carefully from what we said, and I hope people they understand what we do here. Here we fight Islam. Anything else is not welcome. Ali Dawa from London Dawa team is involved in sex cover up. What does that mean? <coughs> what sex cover up mean? My English doesn't help me. What does that mean? Anyway, you know, this is not really. I mean, if he's a prophet, is a scumbag. I mean, so what a big deal. Same time. 
uh, you know, uh, people they do uh, they do bad things, and that can be exist everywhere. It's not really about Muslims or about any. Anyways, this is not really important for me. Well, he's a practice in Islam. I mean, you know, he's a prophet. He made a chapter saying that any any Muslim woman she can give her vagina. So why he cannot take a vagina? I mean, what's wrong? He's a Muslim. He can have four four women in the same time, halal. Those are wives, and then he can uh, be dating as many as he wish. He have he's allowed only to have four women as wives together. Okay. Well, you can make him call me if you want. He can call, and uh, you know we can talk. If you have a Pakistani, a Muslim, anywhere from somewhere, let me, you know ask him to call, and I will be I will be nice with them. You see, when I talk to Muslims, I talk to them based in their knowledge. Uh, I go aggressive on them if they try to lie. Only. Anyway, uh, I think we are done for uh, for today. So, guys, remember tomorrow at the 12 p.m. I will be here on uh, in YouTube. I might start earlier, so he can call me maybe 11:30, uh, and uh, we will do our show. We need to download your brain to fight this cult. You have my videos. What what is left of my brain? It's exhausted. It's over. Poor me. Too much use and abuse. If you want a good brain, I advise you to buy a Muslim brain. Because a Muslim brain has never been used. Brand new. Still the wax is there. My brain is gone. I mean, it's it's burned. If you open it, you will find like a... It's like a chimney there. I go to sleep, honest to God, I cannot even sleep. I'm just thinking. You believe it? The Lord is my witness. I am sleeping and I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> this is how I sleep. <laughs> and I wake up in the morning, remember what I, what I was thinking about when I was sleeping. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Most of my book is written when I'm sleeping. <laughs> The ideas they come to me more clear when I am sleeping, so I go to sleep. I don't sleep really. You know, I, 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 if I hear a sound right away, I wake up. I can, uh, if you talk to me right away, I, I, I answer you right away as if I'm not asleep. Uh, Sometimes it's good to be stupid because life is different. You know, nothing make you upset. You will be happy always. It's like you're on drugs, high. You know, hey, well, relax. You know. Like I look around with people, like when when you look people how 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 they live their life, uh, you know life have different. They see it differently. It's a barbecue. Life is uh, new clothes, party, uh, etc. So everybody he see life in his own way. And if you are watching what's happening around you closely, life is tough. Because you know, you open the news, there's nothing really good. But if you are a person who just lives for your soul, your own, I mean, who cares what's happening here, what's happening there? Who cares what this guy said? Who cares what this guy or this woman said? Who cares? You know, just. But I don't know, like, I'm not, I'm not lucky to have that. Uh, uh, that relaxation uh, uh, anyway uh, now let me see here do you know when the gathering gra grading of hadith grading of hadith started like sahih and weak oh those uh, long long after the, the you know like Muhammad uh, there is uh, some they are not even Arab the one who start doing that are not Arab you know as you as you know al-Bukhari 
Al-Bukhari is not an Arab uh, Muslim is not an Arab so when Islam became uh, the, the Muslim they occupy many territories especially in Persia and uh, uh, Bukhara you know and those places uh, so the non-Arab they are the one who start thinking because those have a have a let us say better civilization from the Arab the Arab they brought something with them but they do not know they are not organized they are not people of libraries they are not people of books uh, so the non-Arab they start creating those books however we don't have those books as an example nobody have the book of Sahih al-Bukhari do you know that there is no Sahih al-Bukhari you see when they say to you uh, if you go to the hadith website they say to you this is Sahih al-Bukhari but there's no Sahih al-Bukhari and I change any Muslim to show me Sahih al-Bukhari there's no Sahih al-Bukhari they don't have it they have a books stating that this is a copy of copy of copy of copy of Sahih al-Bukhari nobody have Sahih al-Bukhari nobody have Sahih Muslim and actually even there is the Shia they say that al-Bukhari was blind and he don't speak Arabic which is very funny I mean he don't speak Arabic but he wrote the book of hadith in Arabic this is what they say you know uh, so there is a lot of fictions there about about names we do not know who they are nobody knows uh, you know even Muhammad himself nobody knows what Muhammad is you see Muhammad there is not there's no person his name is Muhammad this is not his real name there's no his name his father name is Abdullah that's not true that's not true that is a name given to Muhammad the same as the name of Muhammad to make him more noble it's like saying uh, 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 let's say Christian Prince he used to be a Muslim and his name is Muhammad and then it's not suitable to call myself Muhammad I mean this guy is an Antichrist so what I do so you ask me what you want what you want to be your name I say Christian Prince and who is your father and let's say my father was a pagan man his name is whatever then I say I, I decide to change the name of my father for my father is the fa my father in heaven all right uh, so I call myself a Christian Prince the slave of Almighty the son of the slave of like let us say the slave Almighty so the first name the last name are not correct the date of birth is not correct even the place there is a doubt about it there's no certainty that Muhammad he has he's born in Mecca most of the news we have about Muhammad including the Quran there's no proof of it whatsoever there's no manuscript there's no ancient books there's nothing The Muslim have they have zero. You know? Even the stories about you know, like the Quran says sometimes it says Bakka, sometimes it says Mecca. What is Bakka? What is Mecca? I believe that Mecca and Bakka is nothing but the temple of Al uh, Al Makkah. I, I spoke about that before. If you go right now and search for the temple of Mecca you will see that this is a temple for the moon god in Yemen now it's you know like you see the Quran spoke about Pet Petra but it doesn't say it's Petra Let us see. You see, there is a chapter, it's called. Let us go here. It speaks about people who.
build their houses in 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 uh, like in in the rocks at this search engine some time is not good but the Quran never mentioned those names <coughs> Yeah, this uh, search engine is. There's many places the Quran speak about, uh, but you know the Quran is a is a kind of uh, is a collection of uh, stories, and this is why the stories don't make sense. If you read the story of the Prophet, what is called Salih and Naqa and those things, and Thamud, you know, you will see that there is there is a lot of uh, fictions there. Stories was carried by by the Arab before Islam, and Muhammad he adopted those stories, and he considered them to be true stories. As you see those verses, all those stories are nothing but fictions. Like here, you know, chapter 9, verse number 70, it says, Adun wa Thamud wa qawmu Ibrahim wa ashabu Midian wal muqtifikat If you ask the Muslims, who are those? Everybody will give you his own fiction story. Because they don't really know. Who are those people? They don't know. Look at this. The people of Noah and Ad. Who is Ad? Nobody knows. Who is Thamud? Nobody knows. Uh, the people of Abraham and then the people of Median, Me Median, all right. Uh, the Quran mentioned names, but those names, there's no proof of their existence. Ad and Thamud, as an example, you will not find one Muslim able to give you to tell you who is Ad and and the, and the funny, why not nobody asks Muhammad. If this is a verse written in the time of Muhammad, why does why nobody ask him who is Ad? As an example, wa ila Thamud, chapter eleven, number sixty-one. Who is who is Thamud? What is who are those people? And they have a they have a they have a prophet. His name is a good man. Saleh. Yeah. What, who, what is that? Nobody knows. And why you are mentioning those names? We don't know. It's just collection. Muhammad, <coughs> you see, Muhammad, uh, what he did, people at that time, they have uh, stories, and most of them, it's legions. So wh whatever legions around him, Muhammad, he adopt and as long the legion speak about this person in a good way so Muhammad he take it he put it in his book and he make it as a true prophet of God the same as he did with the seven sleepers if you remember seven sleepers is a fiction story written by the Christians specifically Aramaic Christians Muhammad he put it in the Quran and he spoke about it as if it is miracle of his God Allah but all of us we knew that this is nothing but a fiction story a Christian bishop he wrote it to give hope for those who they are discriminated saying to them you will be victorious uh, all those stories they they talk about people nobody knows who they are you know all those verses as an example uh, when the muslim they say to you that muhammad he had miracles in chapter 17 verse number 59 it says Something very, very crazy. We refrain from sending our signs, the signs, only because the men of former generations treated them as false. We sent the she camel to the Thamud to open their eyes, but they treated her wrongfully. We only send the signs by the way of terror <laughs> so Muhammad when they ask him in his time 
about why you don't have miracles in order to avoid making miracles because his God is a false God well he said well Allah he sent miracles to people of uh, Thamud you remember the camel nobody saw the camel who are the Thamud who are those people uh, he gave them this verse saying oh uh, Allah he gave miracle to uh, Thamud and because they treat the the, the, the camel wrongly uh, we will not do miracle no more but people of Thamud are exist supposed to be for Jesus so if you refrain from sending miracles because of them why Jesus have miracles you know what I mean the mass is not a prayer but it is a bloody sacrifice and abomination the mass of who was up of the Catholic okay let me send you and get let me tell you to get lost no it is it is a prayer because you idiot Jesus said he do this to remember me Jesus said do this to remember me what mass and what sacrifice what stupid idiot anyway Go, 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 don't come here again. So he refrained from sending miracles, for he is a false prophet. And because he have no excuse, so he said we refrain. So the Muslim, when they say to you the Quran is a miracle, you can quote for them this verse right away. Because if the Quran is a miracle, then how Allah he said we refrain? And Allah will send only a sign in the way of terror. What is that, Osama bin Laden? Hmm? Do we have any Abdul here? So you know, uh, uh, if you are seeking to know about the history of Islam, there is no history of Islam. Islam has no history. What we know of the history of Islam, we know the history of occupation. But history as history, Muhammad, his real name, nobody knows. Like we have, uh, we have reference saying that his real name was Qatham. But still, even that is coming from Muslim books, which nobody can confirm. Uh, his birth date, nobody knows. His death is not cannot be true. As an example, the Muslim books is very very messed up. Uh, Muhammad father and uh, the grandfather, they married in the same day. So how Muhammad mother she gave birth to Muhammad four years after her, fa her, her his father death. Imagine two men marry in the same day. One of them have a child, normally like you know after a nine month, and the other one, his wife she gave birth because Muhammad father according to Muslim story, he died few months after Muhammad. Uh, after after uh, uh, after he married from Muhammad mother which mean Muhammad he never saw his father so after he get married from his mother according to the story his mother she became mother of Muhammad became widow four years after this woman she got a pregnant and she delivered Muhammad this is based on the Islamic history this is why we cannot trust this uh, this history because uh, there is something wrong there either this woman she was sleeping around there is no way a woman she will get a pregnant from a dead man who died four years ago All right or uh, it, it's true the history is true 
and Muhammad Madarshi was sleeping around. And actually, as we said, there is no proof that Muhammad he have even uh, uh, a mother. Her name is uh, Amina, as they call her. We do not know. We don't. We don't know anything about this man. There is there is a there is a German. Uh, he study Arabic and he study Aramaic, and if you uh, I, I read some of his uh, uh, an article from uh, about his book, this guy he denied that Mecca is exist in Mecca, and Muhammad never he was a, he was a real person, but he was not really uh, what people they say his name is not Muhammad his father not not uh, Abdullah and I agree with that. Uh, uh, the Quran is not what the Quran is not what the Muslims they have today. Uh, the Quran was an was an Aramaic book, never was in in, uh, in Arabic, and actually I believe in that too. Uh, there is many things he said is is true. You know I can confirm it right away. You know even the word Quran is not correct in Arabic. There's nothing in Arabic is called Quran. It can't be true. You see, Arabic have a have a like a, the same as in English. Like you know, when you say in English, you say uh, like there is a verb. So you say uh, uh, he eat, he ate, he eaten. You know what I mean? It's the same in Arabic. We have the same way. So in the the word Quran, in order to 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 be exist, it have to come from the uh, the verb qara. Uh, Qara'a, which mean he read, he, not in the past. Uh, sorry, Qara'a, uh, uh, like maybe it can be now. You know, Qara'a, tala, right now. Or it can be in the past. But even that one, so Qara'a, past, yaqra'u, continued, uh, pr pr present tense. And then we can say the past tense is uh, Qur'an. It cannot be. So as an example, you say, Akala yakulu aklan. We don't say Akala yakulu aklanan. <laughs> you know, so Quran doesn't fit with anything of the Arabic. The reason for that, because simply this is not an Arabic. Even the word Quran is not really, is not a part of the Arabic. It is coming from the Aramaic language. Uh, so everything in the Quran proved that the source of this book was pure Aramaic and there is some mix of other words from different languages like uh, Ethiopian language uh, Persian uh, Greek you know Roman uh, Hebrew like you know the word zakat uh, the word sabbat sabbat sabbath you know there's no, no well, what's sabbat sabbat is sabbath um, uh, the word tabut the word qalam the word uh, ayah, ayah, you know, if you read the Quran, all of it is is, uh, is not Arabic. No. Uh, and you know, even the Quran speak about uh, certain things as an example because because they, they are Muhammad is uh, is collecting. If Muhammad is the one who making the Quran, uh, you will see that they think certain name certain words are names. As an example, the Muslim they think that the father of Abraham is Azar. But this is not what the verse was saying. The verse was saying that Abraham he said to his father, fool or foolish, are you going to worship idols? So the, the word there is not translated to Arabic, it is Azar. So what the Arab people th thought that he is saying Azar, that must be the name of the father of Abraham. Which will make it a historical error because the father of Abraham is not Azar. But most likely, it was an Aramaic word mean foolish. So Muhammad he copy, or the one who wrote the Quran, he copy from the Aramaic people the story that Abraham he said to his father, "Fool, are you going to worship idols?" So because the stupid Muslims they thought the word fool. <laughs> Is the name of the father of Abraham for this is a foreign language and they do not know that this is a word meaningful. 
You know what I mean? And, and the same goes for many things. Like, you know, if you go in the in the Quran, <coughs> what is the first verse Muhammad received? It was Al-Qalam. Okay. Al-Alaq, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Al-Alaq. Uh, he spoke about Al-Qalam. What Al-Qalam? The pen. <coughs> Look what it says in chapter 96 which which make it very uh, I mean obviously this is this is uh, this is cannot be Muhammad saying that because there is something stupid there if you see from the beginning the Muslim they translate they say proclaim or read okay why why proclaim or read is it proclaim or it is read it cannot be both Proclaim is different from read. And the word in Arabic is Iqra. It's an order to read, what proclaim. But the reason for that, because the Muslims, they are reading from a language which is not their language. I'm not talking about the Arabic now. Even the Arab, they themselves are confused. Because if Allah said to Muhammad, read, and Muhammad, he said, I cannot read. That will be a stupid statement. Why? Because if Allah is God, He should know that Muhammad cannot read. And if God, the Muslim, they say, if Allah He wants something to happen, He say B is going to be okay. Here we go. He said to Muhammad, read. Muhammad, he said, I cannot read. Did Allah make Muhammad read? No. Okay. Then He said to him a three time read. Muhammad is still he did not get it three time and the angels squeeze him three time so if it is the word read it's a stupid now let us switch the word proclaim which is wrong but we will take it proclaim what, what is that proclaim repeat repeat after me recite if it's recite that's mean Muhammad he knew the Quran before it was given to him that will make him a false prophet because you recite something from your memory and that cannot be in the memory yet because remember this is the first statement ever Muhammad received he just received it so he cannot say to him recite if he's saying to him repeat it's very stupid of Muhammad to say I cannot repeat because he just did all the verse in front of us proving that Muhammad he did repeat it <laughs> you know and he said to him in the story he said to him, Iqra, Muhammad, he said, Ma'ana biqari. He did repeat what the angel he said. So, what do you mean he cannot repeat? Uh, and then you will see right away in the verse number two it says, uh, He created the man out of congealed blood. I mean, from there we have a problem. What congealed blood? What is the congealed blood he's talking about? Was Adam created from congealed blood? Is he talking about the first man or the second man? The first man is Adam, was not created from blood. The second Adam, the second man is me and you, whoever after Adam. None of us is created from congealed blood. So what is that? I believe that this is coming from a wrong language too. Most likely, it the word the word they are talking about it was mud, but because those Arab don't speak the language of the Quran, they thought it's a congealed blood. So most likely here, the true word should be here. Is not a clot. It is mud. We are typing in Arabic. You know what I mean? <clears throat> because the Quran is written in different language, in the I mean in, in the time of Muhammad, not even now. The Quran, if there is a Quran, was not in Arabic. So those who they are later, they try to, to, to transform the Quran into the Arabic language, they miss a lot of the language. 
and this is why there's many things look so stupid I don't believe really Muhammad he said that Allah he created uh, the human being from a blood I mean it doesn't make sense why in the world a human being will say such a thing think about it in the time of Muhammad or today it doesn't make sense it doesn't even come to your mind what 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 blood so it might be there is a misunderstanding of the language which is the Aramaic language and those Abduls they thought he's talking about a congealed blood or it can be that the stupid Muhammad he thought that women when when she have miscarriage and uh, the baby is not complete he come in a certain way covered by blood so Muhammad he think this is how the baby is it might it might be but for me it doesn't make sense because this is the first verse Muhammad is giving uh, given to Muhammad from his God supposedly and it should be speaking as first about the creating of Adam not about the creating all a human being how Allah created man remember remember when I say God created God created uh, is it clear is it is it true that God created me <clears throat> what do you think guys did God create me what do you think? Is that correct to say God created me? Metaphorically, yes. Literally, no. Because God created only Adam and Eve. You know what I mean? That's it. God, he only created one man and one woman. The rest is just a reproduction. So here the verse to be accurate it should be speaking about the first man do you do you understand me then the first man it cannot be congealed blood regardless of congealed blood is wrong for sure it's wrong but he should it should say he created the man from mud that will make sense but because those idiots they don't speak Aramaic so here the word which is equal to the mud they got it wrong alaqa alaqa in the in the Arabic language is uh, uh, you know if you if you cut yourself if you cut yourself and then there's a piece of blood uh, like and your skin will show and will be dry when you bleed that blood will will dry and that will be called the alaqa that is the, that is a dead blood i mean how you can say such a thing but i believe in the old languages in the in the old uh, syriac or uh, akkadian language the the word uh, to mud is very close so those people in the old days when somebody have an inner injury they cover themselves with mud they cover themselves with mud uh, and that mud have a certain description and I believe this is what is written in the Quran so God created man from mud Muslims in their books today God created man from a congealed blood that make it stupid scientifically wrong and funny then you will see here <clears throat> in the beginning the first verse the, the the translator says proclaim or read but then in second verse he said proclaim I mean look how hypocrite he is how why are you saying to him proclaim okay and then he taught by the pen okay how how Muslim they say Muhammad is illiterate man and then how the Quran says Allah he taught by the pen he taught who by the pen you know what I mean
who is who is taught by the pen there's nobody nobody uh, <laughs> Muhammad according to Muslims is illiterate and we never heard of any prophets in Islam was taught by the pen and the word pen the word pen qalam uh, is is not an Arabic word too al qalam now same time when the first pen is exist What is the first time a pen is exists? Is it in the time of Adam? No way. For this is not exist. Uh, you know, uh, pen is, is something new. I mean, let, you know, uh, like uh, compared to the to the age of a human being. I mean, how old the uh, the human uh, existence is. So to say that he taught by the pen. I mean, here there is a there is a big problem. Allah, He taught who by the pen? Abraham, Adam. In Islam, Adam is the first prophet. So, if he is talking about the first man, it's going to be very stupid to say that Adam was the first one taught by the pen. For there is no pen exists at that time. If God of Islam taught Muhammad by the pen it's a stupid to say so for Muhammad according to Muslim do not know how to write how to read then it says here that he taught the man by the pen what you do not know how you say that did, 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 did Muhammad learn by the pen what he do not know If there's any Muslim listening Allah is saying here he teach by the pen that's mean he will never give anything unless he write it down by a pen he himself write it the same as what happened to Moses how come Muhammad did not receive by the pen and I believe the word pen is understood wrongly wrongly from the Aramaic language too. This is why all the Quran is coming wrongly as meaning. Uh, uh, as an example, this uh, this uh, German guy who made the book I told you about, uh, he said that the word hur is in the old Aramaic mean a grape. The word hur mean a grape. Uh, now, compare the verse to other verses. The Quran says that in uh, 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 in different verse that there is no man, uh, no genie, no man made them uh, bleed or lose their virginity. But you know, in the old languages, it can be about the grave because there is uh, like when uh, like in English, you say sometime uh, uh, virgin oil uh, uh, you know virgin oil you know what I mean so the word virgin not necessarily about women virginity same as in the Bible sometime you know like the, the Bible says that the whole earth committed adultery but this is not about earth having sex adultery adultery in the Bible is not about sex not necessarily it can be have you ever heard about earth having sex so adultery is, you know, you, you are committing sin against God, a great sin, whatever it is. But Muslims, because they are not educated with the Aramaic language, so everything in the Quran is coming wrong. And you can do that to every page in the Quran. <clears throat> you compare every line, every word in the Quran, with the original language and you will find that the names the titles the descriptions is not right uh, as an example <coughs> you see here it says a line sinful for lock do you see that what for lock mean anybody can help me with the with the English what for what for luck mean? The hair in the front, right? 
it's the hair in the front is that correct in the front of your head okay have you ever heard of sinful hair I mean <laughs> that's stupid Have you ever heard of a of a hair a sinful hair? How you can have a sinful hair? There's any Muslim around? I mean, so you see everything there. The word in Arabic is confusing. This is not Arabic. So the Muslims. They try to find a meaning, you know, it's like it's like, you know, you are struggling. You are doing jihad my friend struggling You are struggling to understand this book because this book is not written in Arabic So the Arab trying to make it Arabic But this book is not in Arabic. So when they try to make it in Arabic everything come to be stupid crazy dump shish kebab What if somebody is is bold Okay, how we will know if, if, if James White, if James uh, White is lying or not? He have no hair at all. Sinful forelock. I mean, that's so. As you see, every every verse in the Quran is a stupid by itself. But I, I don't believe it is stupid because you know, like it just because it's stupid. I believe it's coming stupid because it's coming from a different language so I'm not talking about the Arabic now I'm, I'm saying that the Arabic itself is not the Quran the Quran we have today is not the Quran which was exist this is the version this is this is the one they tried to make it in Arabic like you know if you ask a Muslim how you write the word sal salah salah this is not an Aram, not, not an Arabic word, but even the Quran writing the word in the way the Aramaic write it. No, the Quran says Salwa. What Salwa? There's nothing in Arabic. It's called Salwa. Salwa. Oh no. See, this is the word as salat. As salat. Those who believe, and even even you know, I mean, the Arabic is so stupid. Those who believe in the unseen, and those who believe, and those who do practice the salat. Now, believe in the unseen. I mean, what do you mean by the unseen exactly? Anything unseen, we should believe in it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, here you will see it says وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةُ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةُ Is the zakat is an Arabic word? No. This is can be found in the in the Old Testament, but this is can be found in the in the Greek language. It's can you know it's it's obviously this is not an Arabic. Zakat is not an Arabic term. Have nothing to do with the Arab. Uh, let us see. As an example, uh, Bani Israel, Bani Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Nobody knows. For sure, you know what I'm talking about. In the Quran, there is no presentation of any person. His name is Israel. Suddenly, the Quran start talking about like about people who they are called Bani Israel, the children of Israel. But who is Israel? We do not know. In the whole Quran, you will not find anywhere a story. It says that. As an example, Jacob, he was the same as Israel. You cannot find it. So why that does not exist? Either there is missing chapters, which is speaking about him, but they are gone, or it's a stupid collection, and this is what they got. So they put it together. Because there is no way to say to me the son of Israel, and then we, we you, you do not need to tell me who is Israel. Right. <clears throat> uh, 
I'll, I'll, you know, I ch actually I changed the Muslim to find me one verse and not to find mistakes in it. Just one verse. Any Muslim want to do that? Right now, right here. Who is a Muslim want to give me a verse of his choice to find a mistake in it? Like, look at this. Uh, this is Chippet's story. Let me show you. It's forbidden for you, women who they are your mothers, and your daughters, and your sisters. And the father of the sisters and the mother of the sister and the brother of the daughter and the sister of the daughter and the foster mother foster mother Who gave you suck? <laughs> I Thought adoption is re rejected in Islam So what do you mean foster mother you just called her mother? You know what I mean? Uh, do we have do we have a, a adoption or we don't? They say no, it's haram. Okay, but the Quran says it's forbidden for you, your foster mother. So either this is a wrong language, or this is a stupid teaching, because adoption is forbidden. And how how a woman she gave me breastfeeding, she became my mother. I mean, what is the logic of that? If I drink milk from a cow, she became my mother? And why I need to know that it's forbidden for me to have sex with my mother and my daughter. Why? At that time, people used to marry their mother and their daughter. And then in different verse in the Quran, the Quran allowed the Muslim to have sex with their daughters. See, here it says, it's forbidden for you, your daughter. In different verse, chapter 25, verse number 54, it says, We made it. What does that mean? It is him who made the creation, or let us say, uh, anyone after Adam is from uh, water, which means the sperm. And that is uh, by establishing a relationship by marriage. Okay. If you go and read the interpretation of this verse, you will find it says that Islam only agreed that lineage is by blood, by marriage, not by blood only. Which means if a man has sex with a woman and he is not married to her, the son or the daughter will not be considered as sons or daughter. Therefore, it is not considered to be forbidden to have sex with the mother and the daughter oops which mean it is halal to have sex with the mother and your daughter just because she is not your daughter from marriage so yes Islam allowed having sex with the daughter as long as it is not from legal marriage so if a Muslim man had sex with a woman and she got a bread net and then the daughter of this woman which is his daughter too get older he can have sex with her and have sex with her mother and if there is any Muslim here he want to say it's not true call me right now and I will make you read the reference by your own eyes do we have any Muslim I do that Any Muslim want to call? <clears throat> no Muslim. Is it true Muslims that you can have sex with your daughter if she is not a daughter from re legal marriage? Or I'm lying?
obviously they knew it's true no Abdul do we have any Muslim mushrikeen here <clears throat> any any uh, any pagan Muslim any from the mushrikeen Muslims here the infidels the one who kiss black stones so it's not only black stone what you kiss you kiss women who they are your daughters and then you will see the dad saying do you remember the story where the daughter of Lot they slept with their father but it's not God who told them to do that go and read the story this the Bible is just repeat report reporting the story what they did it is in your God who said you can have sex with your daughter Yeah, the Muslims are pagans. They bow down in front of a rock. They kiss a rock and they go around the rock. What is what will make you more pagan than this? All the Muslims in the world they face a rock. They bow down in front of a rock. They kiss the rock, and they believe it's a holy rock. And they are not pagan. If this will not make you pagan, what is going to make you pagan? And even Muhammad, he said that the rock, the black stone, is the right hand of Allah. And it used to be white, but because people, they sin, they commit sin, they make it black. Well, this is what Islam teach. If you have a daughter from adultery, not your daughter from marriage. See, the Quran said it clearly that daughter from marriage is forbidden. Let's make it clear. But if you have a daughter out of marriage, this is lawful. <clears throat> so if a Muslim have a daughter, you know, let me let me show you the reference. So a Muslim will not say I'm making things up. You know, because they might say, you know, he's he's making things up. Hold on. Huh. <clears throat> <sighs> قال ابن العربي. I'm just getting the reference. All right. It's better always to show the reference. So Muslims will not say, you know, he's making things up. Okay. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Ministry of Islam. Actually, this is the, the University of King uh, Saud. All right. <laughs> Let us make it big so you guys can see. Now, any Muslim who speaks Arabic, feel free to call me, and I will be happy to make you read by yourself. Look at this. It says here, قوله تعالى نسبا وصهرا النسب والصهر معنى معنيان يا أمان كل قرب قربة تكون بين آدميين. His Allah is saying, نسبا وصهرا lineage by marriage. Uh, the, the lineage by marriage mean that any relationship or lineage between two human beings Ibn al-Arabi one of the biggest scholars of Islam said and Nasab the word Nasab mean lineage it is uh, uh, mixing between the water of the man and the water of the women by the Sharia Allah ala wajh shara fa in kana bi masya if it is in unlawful which mean adultery it's mean it was just a recreation or reproduction 
and it has no knowledge sorry no lineage which mean you cannot claim the person to be your son because it's not from marriage or your daughter for uh, uh, therefore therefore wali uh, dalika uh, it's not considered under the verses which is saying hurrimat alaykum ummahatukum wa banatukum bintuhum min zina therefore it is not considered the same as it says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mothers and your daughters for she is his daughter from adultery لأنها ليست بمنت له في أصح القولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين for it is not considered to be his daughter according to the most accurate statement of our ulama which means scars and the most accurate statement or opinion opinion of the religion and if it is not وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صحب شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا الزنا بنت أو 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 لا بنت أم ولا أم بنت so it is not forbidden if if there is no legal relationship which means marriage, real marriage. So there is no lineage. And therefore, it is it is not haram to have adultery with the daughter from a mother of adultery. And what is forbidden from halal, which means from lawful, it is not forbidden from unlawful. This is their logic. So it's very clear that you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from a daughter it is Islam who teach that and again this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia you can click here it says the the, the main page I hope it's showing in your side let us see if it's showing or not I think it's showing if we click here you see uh, it does go up all right or we can go down to the end let us see it says contact us all right it says Mashru al mushaf bijamiat al malik saud the project of Quran in the in the University of uh, the King Saud uh, if we go to the main page here we go this is the main page I don't know why the page is coming wrong let's refresh something wrong with the page it's not coming right Mm. Let us see English. I'm not sure why the website is not coming right. Let me change the browser. Hold on. If we open it in a different browser, sometimes some website they don't function right in certain browsers. Yeah, I know it's, it's still the same. I open uh, Google, it's still the same. So there is something wrong with it. <clears throat> if you click here at contact us, contact us, what's wrong with this website? Even contact us is not working. Nothing is working. Yeah, no, something wrong. Anyway, so there's no there's no doubt that this is what the Muslim teach, and this is Islam. But you know, most of the Muslims they have no idea what Islam is teaching. The Arab themselves they can't understand the Arabic of the Quran because, as we said, most of the Quran is not really Arabic. The version of the Quran today is a converted version to Arabic from the Aramaic. This is why the language is very, uh, it, it doesn't make sense, full of stupid stuff, uh, crazy words. And most of the time it does not make sense. 
nothing in this in this book makes sense and I believe one of the major, major reasons for the confusion that it is not it's not an Arabic uh, book <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul here? Not even a single Muslim? Anyone have a question for me? How are you, Amina? Are you a Muslim? You're welcome, Amina. Are you a Muslim, Amina? Let me open my Skype just to be sure that if there's anybody but not want to call, uh, you can reach out. <coughs> you know, if you try to understand any verse in the Quran, you will find that the Muslim themselves they are struggling badly to understand the Quran because you know this book is really weird I mean how you can understand this book it's not an Arabic it's not an Arabic you know it's it is a it is a wrong version wrong translation wrong everything wrong now our Skype is open in case anyone would like to call especially if a, if any Muslim Anyone? Who is a Muslim? Okay, forget about then. If you don't have a question, who is a Muslim want to show me something amazing in the Quran? You see, I put my service for you, Muslims. Who is here want to make a challenge for me to show me something amazing in the Quran? Any Muslim would like to do so? I see Muslims they keep saying that there is a lot of uh, miracles amazing things so who is the Muslim want to share with me something amazing in the Quran to see if it's really truly amazing or it is a uh, hocus <clears throat> there's no there's no structure of the Quran Muslims they have their own ideas about how they put it together but I believe strongly there is nothing. It's just uh, uh, the way Uthman and the one who hired them they decide to make it. That's all. There is no, there is no logic of it. You know, there is no logic. The first, the first verses given to Muhammad they are in the end of the Quran and it's messed up. <clears throat> I mean, you can search that in uh, Google. This is not uh, our high tech help here. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim want to show me something amazing in the Quran? Not even one Muslim? So the Quran miracle is gone. Maybe maybe Quran miracles today they are in vacation. Huh? Chapter 38, verse number 12. Who is a Muslim when I tell me what does that mean? <laughs> Pharaoh, the Lord of the Stakes. Any Muslim can tell me what does that mean? Pharaoh, the Lord of the Stakes. Any Muslim? 
and by the way it's not stakes you know you know those things you put in the if you have a tent you put in the ground to hold your tent what what they call it in English uh, you know like you you, you want to you want to type up the rope of your tent so the the air will not uh, 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 poles the one you would dig it in the ground you know uh, pages pages I think it's better yeah so uh, the Lord of the pages what does that mean welcome tree welcome welcome my friend from Indonesia I love I love people who live in Islamic countries those Christians because they are they are a great warrior for Christ any any Muslim can tell us what does that mean I mean how in the world Muhammad he says such a statement obviously the word here is not accurate this is why I'm saying to you the Quran is not in Arabic I mean what what the Lord of the stakes this guy the Pharaoh is the Lord of the stakes which we dig in the ground what does that mean obviously here there's an Aramaic word which the Muslim could not understand so they tried to make it in Arabic and they could not come with something better than this you know what I mean and that can be found everywhere look and Thamud and the people of Lut and the companions of the wood here we go somebody called David Wood what the companions of the wood any Muslim around the companions of the wood how was the companion of the wood doing what stuff <laughs> I mean what what uh, what I can say I mean this is this is this is the book of God but as I said because Muhammad is a thief and Quran is not an Arabic religion so the Muslim when they try to make the Quran in Arabic in the time mostly in the time of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan Abdul Malik ibn Marwan is a caliph who 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 forced all countries which occupied by Muslims to use the Arabic language so since then since that date all the books is written in Arabic before that date there's no Arabic books and I believe this is where the Quran became an Arabic book <coughs> You're welcome, my friend, uh, Tori. Uh, I don't know. I mean, everything, everything is really... Uh, is it crazy? <coughs> I will give an example of the stupidity of the translation of the Quran from Aramaic to Arabic do you remember the story of the seven sleepers the seven sleepers a very stupid verse very stupid statement Muhammad the story is a, is a nice story but it's good for kids written by a Christian Aramaic person a bishop from north of Syria Muhammad he liked it, the story he put it in the Quran but this is an Aramaic story okay look at the st structure of the story how we strip it in the Quran Muhammad when I talk about the seven sleepers so people they ask him what is the number of those people are they four five six seven so look what he said some they say I think this is need uh, some back uh, back uh, background in music
you know what I mean like because here the story is very exciting <coughs> it is about maybe <laughs> Some they say it is maybe four, some they say maybe it is three, some they say the dog is number four, some they say maybe it is five. Some they say it is maybe six, some they say maybe it is seven, and the dog is number eight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to start from zero. I mean, this is not, 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 not doing good. You know, imagine somebody is asking you, what is the number of those people there? You say to him, some they say three, some they say four, some they say five, and the, number, and the dog is number six, some they say four, and number is five, some they say number three, and the dog is number four. I mean, what, what is the number? I'm not asking you. I mean, what the point of saying to me? Some they say they were three, and the dog is number four. Some they say they are four, and the dog is number five. Some they say they are five, but the dog is number six. And some they say number six, but the dog is number seven, eleven. I mean, is that a story for kids? Yes, it is a story for kids. God speaking like this. And what do you mean the dog is number four? Is the dog is a human to count in number four? In which language you can say there's a three guys and the dog is number four? Huh? You cannot do that in Arabic, you cannot do that in Aramaic, you cannot do that in English. You can you can say three men and one dog. You cannot say three three men and the dog is number four. Because saying that you make the dog a human. Now that is the mistake here. <clears throat> In this story oh, Lord have mercy if we go to the Arabic let us go back to the Arabic the music is good right it make you wake up if you go in the Arabic you will see here it says say you, you know, kalbahom, kalbahom in Arabic mean dog. Hmm? Okay. Remember when the Quran, <clears throat> the first Quran supposedly written, there was no dots and there's no valves and all those things you see in the top and in the bottom, they are not exist. So those things here, we take them off. All those things, I'm putting sign on them, you take them off. And the Arabic is not written the same way too. So if they want to write as an example, they say they write it like this. Ka li and then etc. and the ha and um. So it's like it's not it's it's divided. And then you will see the original word is ka li ahum, not kalbahum. All of us we knew that Muhammad he taught the Muslims that dogs are dirty, correct? Even he ordered to kill the dogs. So how Allah is making a miracle and he is counting the word dog as one of the good believers So the word here the original word is Kali ahum Kali ahum is their provider protector So the seven sleeper which is a Christian story a fiction story is about seven guys who they have an angel who they sleep in the cave and the angel he opened his wings to protect them the stupid Muslims when they try to convert the story from the Aramaic to the Arabic and instead of saying the word Kali ahum they make it kalbahum from an angel to a dog the original story is an angel in the Quran became a dog why? Because <clears throat> the stupidity of those who they are uh, working in the Quran. Like you know, a Middle Eastern guy like me, he might go to the store and he wanna buy he uh, to a restaurant and then he wanna he wanna eat some uh, 
uh, uh, soup. So he say, can you get soap? Do you have soap? Huh? I want to drink soap. Uh, so, what you want to drink? What soap? Oh, you mean soup? So Kaliya home became Kalba home. And that will make sense. And then you will find uh, <clears throat> look what the Quran saying here. Just to show you how stupid the Muslims when they made the Quran. <clears throat> All right. If you go chapter 18, verse number 18, you will see this dog. His two arms is open. Have you ever heard of a dog have two arms? Muslims? Look, look at the translation. Look how stupid the translation to cover the problem. Look what they said. And their dog is stretching his fourth to four legs. Have you ever heard of such a term? Stretching forth his two four legs what <laughs> what, what the heck? <laughs> and why allah is saying to us he have his legs is open anyway i mean <laughs> what a stupid cult what like what legs allah the almighty he is saying to us the dog's legs is open we well, thank you very much why why you are telling me that simply the story is saying that those angels this this angel he is in the front of the cave and his hands is open to do what to protect them they are behind him remember the story that those people are chased by a king the soldier of the king are after them so they went to a cave and the angel he stood in the front of the cave and he opened his hands. The stupid Muslims, when they converted the Aramaic Quran to the Arabic Quran, it became a dog and his legs is open. This is why everything in the Quran is absolutely stupid and wrong. And the funny Muhammad, each time they ask him about a sign of Allah, he tell them about a sign happened before him, which is a fiction story. This is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. This is a fiction story. All the Christians, they knew with the seven sleepers. We knew the name of the writer. We knew which year is written. We knew how it spread. Even the story of Alexander the Great, Zul Qurnayn. Zul Qurnayn is a story written by the Aramaic. It's a fiction story about a real guy. What does that mean? <coughs> you know, there is there is a guy, his name, Alexander the Great. True. But they made a fiction story about his uh, legions, about things he did, but it's a fiction. And this story spread all over. It's a, it's a noble. It's a noble. The same as today. You write, you know, you put, uh, you put names, but it's a fiction. <coughs> so the stupid Muhammad, he took from the Aramaic books the story of Zul Qurnayn and he put it all of it actually you see all those stories written in chapter 18 all this in one page you see all those stories here chapter 18 is one of the most funny stupid stories in the Quran <coughs> <coughs> do we have an Abdul you don't agree with us But still, I like it when Allah He says, "Some they say there are three, and the dog is number four. Some they say there are four, and the dog is number six. Some are five, and some they say there are five, and the dog is number six. Some they say there are six, and the number uh, the dog is number seven. I mean, are you going to continue until tomorrow? What if there are two thousand people? Are you going to start from one to two to three to four, and the dog is number five, and the dog is number six, and the dog is number one hundred and one hundred ten, one hundred twenty? 
And now what is the final number, Allah? I mean, a lot of wisdom here. I'm dying from wisdom. Imagine, imagine. I think you can practice this if ever the FBI, they arrested you. You say to them, you know, the FBI, or let's say you are a witness in the court. The judge, he said to you, how many people they are beating the guy? Because some they say, and, they, and then you said, I know, I know. Some they say there are three and the dog is number four. Some they say there are four and the dog is number five. Some they say there are five and the dog is number seven. Some they say there are eight and the dog is number nine. Some they say there are nine and the dog is number ten. And then the judge, he cannot take it no more. He said, shut up. So what is the final number? Give us the number. And then you say to him, Allah knows best. Huh? Allah knows best. What do you want more? Allah knows best. <clears throat> so everything in this book is not what you see in this book. Aramaic is translated wrongly from the Aramaic to the Arabic and everything is messed up. Do we have any Abdul would like to call? Do we have any Abdul like to call? I advise, I mean, look at the Quran, look at this man. I mean, this is the book of Allah and Allah is talking. Then Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. That's super intelligent, man. Allah is saying, praise be to Allah. Muslims, don't you think there is something wrong here? What do you mean Allah saying praise be to Allah who has sent to his servant the book and there's no crookedness in this book are you sure are you sure I mean obviously there's no crookedness there <laughs> and the funny it says and he make it so clear he has made it so clear. I mean, it's so clear to the point we have thousands of interpretation and none of them agree with each other. Do you see how clear it is? This book is so clear. Hmm. <coughs> Do we have any clear Abdul here? And look, guys, look at the uh, look at this uh, this Quran. Uh, uh, praise be to Allah, and then Allah He says, "Farther that He may warn those also say Allah has no son." <laughs> what is the relationship between this verse and this verse and this verse and this verse? Any Muslim can tell me. I mean, right away we jump to Allah have no son. What is that? Didn't the Quran already say many times Allah has no son? Why he keep repeating himself? Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Behold the youth be took the, themselves to the cave. They said our Lord beats best bestow on us mercy from themselves and this uh, dispose of our affair for us in the right way. Then we draw a veil over their ears. Oh, here we go, they became deaf for a number of years uh, in the cave. Uh, so that they heard not they heard what music what is that then we rose them in order to test in which of the two parties was the best of calculating the term of years what two parties 
What calculating years? What this guy is talking about? Any Abdul is around? We relate to thee their story in truth. So Allah now is telling us the story. This is a true story. They were youth who believed in their Lord. And we advanced them in guidance. Okay. So we gave them strength in their heart. Behold, they stood up. And said, Our Lord is the Lord of the, the ring of the heaven and the earth. Never shall we call upon any God rather than Him. Though the, these our people, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> yeah, I have a multi multicultural voice. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? I, I've been in many countries already. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Amina to chat in other names, just simple. Just make a new account in YouTube and log in. Make a new account in YouTube with a new name and you can log in with a different name. Do we have any Abdul here? <coughs> Anyone? This is a story. Huh? Even the chapter is not the name of the, the chapter. In the same chapter, remember that Allah He spoke about Alexander the Great, the man with the two horn, and Allah He tell us that He He found where the sun set. Which is true. According to NASA, they found where the sun set. <clears throat> Any Abdul? I don't do private chat with anyone. I don't do private chat. The only private chat I do is with Jibril. Like I might talk to somebody if necessarily, but I don't think she needed it. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyone? No? Yeah, because if we uh, do private chat with everybody, then we, we would have endless chat. Every one of you would like to say to me, hello, hi, and then I say hi, and then you say hello, and I say hi. Hello, hi, and then you say, how are you? I say, I'm fine. And how are you doing? I'm doing fine. What's up? Uh, uh, the, the sky, and what is down? Uh, Muhammad, okay, and what else? Who want to have a chat with me in private? Let us see. Who want to have a chat with me in private? I warn you, I am the same as Muhammad. I charge you per minute. The Quran says, if you want to chat with the Prophet, pay him first. So you want to chat in private? No money, no honey. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Yeah, you know we charge you. Uh, you know uh, there is uh, there is halal tax, and there's then and then there's halal interest, and then there's halal. Uh, you know. Uh, gifts and a lot of halal all is halal is it true the Quran today is, is from Egypt made 1924 nobody really sure about the date exactly but nobody haven't uh, the, the I don't know which one you are talking about are you talking about the Mus'haf it's called Mus'haf Uthman there's a there's a Mus'haf it's called Mus'haf wa Uthman al-Maz'oom al-Maz'oom which means the, the one it's claimed to be Mus'haf wa Uthman that one uh, uh, you know it's possible written maybe 8th century to 9th centuries after Muhammad maybe some they say even more I'm not sure really 
but it's far away from any to be considered and there is no original of it you know there's no origin of it we don't know like who is the one who wrote it <clears throat> Mustafa mean elected the elect don't you know the the song Mustafa ya Mustafa I mean, I think you should do occasionally. Occasionally, go to into Facebook and bust the moose. I bust the moose everywhere. Facebook. Trust me, any book I am there. Mustafa mean elect the elect one, the elect. Muhammad, he have ninety nine names. And this is why Muhammad is not his name. 99 names. Allah have 99 names. Muhammad, obviously, he is he is he is a lot of the Muslims. Have you ever heard of a person and a God they have equal names? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here? Should we go to uh, Alexander the Great's story? I love this story. You know, the problem with Facebook, there's nobody to talk to. You know, the Muslim, they post the most stupid, silly stuff, and they keep repeating themselves. If Jesus, he is God, then how Jesus, he prayed to his father? And then you answer them. And then the second day, they post the same question, if Jesus is he is God, so how he talked to himself? <laughs> you know, <clears throat> if you want to do really uh, a good a good work, you better make videos. You make videos, post them in YouTube, people they can see and they can interact, especially if you talk, not just text. But if you don't like to talk, because I know some people are not too much... Uh, uh, into using their voice uh, make a text and make your question and make your answers but the best way to get Abdul heated is to uh, to speak you know the, the the funny the funny the Muslims are questioning if Jesus is God right how come they never question that Jesus if he is a prophet or not the answer is very simple because Muhammad he told him he's a prophet so the whole idea of rejecting Jesus is not because he is a qualified to be God or not. It's just because Muhammad said he is not. Why we never saw a Muslim questioning if Jesus is a son of a virgin or making fun of believing that Mary, she was virgin. Is that because it's logical? No, but because Muhammad said so. Otherwise, what is the logic for Jesus to be a son of a virgin for a Muslim? Nothing. It make logic for a Christian Christian believe he is a son of no man a son of God but for a Muslim to believe that Mary is a virgin and she gave birth to Isa you need to explain to me why this happened they have no answer <clears throat> but Muslims in they are like you know uh, uh, if you if you want to debate a Muslim it's like you are chase, chasing a chicken you know a chicken have any one of you chased a chicken before? Who of you chicken chased a chicken before? I, I did. When I was in uh, elementary school, uh, I went to my uh, friend uh, house in the village in the mountains, and then we found a rooster in the river, down in the river, and we chased him for four hours, or maybe <laughs> no, how many hours? <laughs> he was jumping. It was very tough. Finally, we got him. We slaughtered the rooster halal. And we made him, we made him uh, barbecue. Now, we thought this roaster belonged to no one. <clears throat> it's far away from any house. <laughs> we are kids. Anyway, we went home, and then the mother of the guy who is inviting me to his house—not only me—we are, we are like a, a bunch of friends. She starts singing to her son, 
did you see that through did you see the chicken the the rooster he said what rooster he said the rooster our oh, rooster the big one she said w -w 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 where it is she said he's missing since the morning we did not see him <laughs> it was their rooster <laughs> and then his mother she starts saying may God curse the one who took our rooster and her son he keeps saying mom don't say that don't say that it's not right <laughs> Now we thought those are like you know there's some roosters they uh, since they are babies they they flee they run away and nobody on them so we thought it's, this is one of them in the in the in the down in the river far away it was the rooster of our friend so chasing a Muslim is the same as a chasing a rooster but he have no feather and he is naked but he think he is dressed and he think he have the most nice feather and he is the most colorful one and he is the real rooster who can make all the chickens excited but when you get a Muslim busted you will find that he is no rooster he is not even a chicken he is not even anything it's gas it's a balloon the same as Muhammad when he imagined himself having sex he think he's having sex but in fact he was not Muslims when they speak about you they try to avoid you speaking about them so what they do they rush into attacking you before you ask a question you know when somebody is guilty <clears throat> like if you are a kid and you came back and your mom she came back and you broke the mirror and then you sit with your mom and suddenly you start you became talkative suddenly became a friendly hey mom what we will do tomorrow are we going to go and visit our aunt? Hey, mom, what's wrong with this kid? Why he don't want to stop talking? You know, he's trying to. <laughs> this is exactly the situation of a Muslim. He try to keep you busy, so you will not get him busted. Talk about everything, but don't ask me about my scumbag Muhammad. This is the whole point. Otherwise, he really is not even listening to you, what you are answering him. You know, if you watch Shabir Ali debating in ABN, when they are when they are answering him, Shabir Ali is touching his nose. Mm. <clears throat> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then after touching his nose for like 50 times, then he answered things have nothing to do with the guy he said. Because simply he is thinking about how I'm going to play the next stage. He is not thinking about the answer he is giving him. And this is how all the Muslims they do it. They never listen to your answer. You have to corner them. And this is what I do. You have to grab him from his nose and put some something in his mouth. So you shut him shut his mouth because he will keep talking saying nothing stop him from breathing for a second and Force him to listen and I'm not talking in literally. I'm talking about you know, you have to Give him no chance to run away Most of the debate people they do with Muslims is like 10 minutes for you 10 minutes for me This is the best way to run away Because he speak in 10 minutes. He say nothing and then I speak for 10 minutes and God knows what I said and he's not even listening so what the point of this debate there's no point you have to be harsh you have to be tough <clears throat> yeah and Shabir Ali whatever he go he speak right away about number 19 I want to see him once speaking to me about number 19 and if he do I will make him 19 pieces Piece number one, piece number two, piece number three, piece number four, <laughs> number 19. <laughs> uh, number 19. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, do we have any Muslim here want to talk about miracle number 19? Huh? 
that you know the Muslims if you are nice they think you are weak you see people they think okay because I'm a Christian supposedly I have to speak in a certain way and supposedly that would make me uh, you know uh, more accepted Muslim don't see it this way Muslims when you speak to them in a nice way they think you are weak this is their mentality you are nice you are weak you know <clears throat> Yeah, this is why when he debated me, this guy Adib, he, he left in the half of the debate. He decided to leave. He told ABN, I, I get to go. <clears throat> and you know what is what is amazing? Why Muhammad did not say anything about the miracle of number 19? You know, Shabir Ali and those who came with this, uh, Shabir Ali is just copying. He is, you know, he have no idea what he's talking about. Why Muhammad did not say brother sisters number 19 in the Quran Was the debate in Arabic or in English which debate <coughs> Which debate Do we have any number 19 here the magnificent 19 why Muhammad did not promise us 19 women instead of 72 yeah the guy in uh, no this is in English English yeah all my debates in ABN was done in English except one in Arabic that was with the head of the Muslim Shia in America his name is Husham al Husseini And the Muslims accuse him that he got paid by me. He took money from me, <clears throat> and this is true. I think I, I, I think I gave him a sandwich to make Islam look bad. But this was a few years ago, four or five years maybe. But supposedly we will have a debate in Arabic with a sheikh from Hezbollah. And supposedly he is one of the biggest sheikh of Hezbollah in Lebanon. Uh, soon, I'm waiting for their answer. You know. <clears throat> Let us see what this sheikh will do. Uh, the sheikh is so upset because uh, uh, I was speaking to one of his family members. I don't I think he's a family member of her and this woman her brother is a big leader in Hezbollah uh, and she said if the sheikh could not refute me for sure she is going to become a Christian so those sheikhs are so upset from me right now in Hezbollah because here we go their family member is going to leave Islam very soon you know yeah but this will be in Arabic <clears throat> you speak Arabic this is will be in Arabic because the women she don't speak English you know the women this woman she live in Germany but her family they are from Hezbollah and her brother is a big leader in Lebanon yeah Anyway, you know, uh, I, I hope they will do it. For me, I never said no for anyone. It doesn't matter how big, how small. Here we go. I'm on. I'm, I'm uh, like right now. You can call me. If there is a Muslim who would like to say something to us about Islam, feel free. We don't consider it as a debate. We consider it as a chat. Yeah. Mentioned he is invited by Brits Group to come to their show who is that who is Brits group I don't know this group what what a group is that it's called the Brits group 
I don't know. <clears throat> I don't remember the name uh, Neo Greek. I have no idea. Uh, tomorrow? I don't know. That. This is called the British Group? I don't know. I thought they have a website. It's called uh, Wiki something, whatever. Wiki, I don't know. <coughs> well, I don't know. If, uh, actually, if you can bring Muslims to debate me, that would be a good thing. We keep saying any Muslim here, if you if you Christians uh, like to see something interesting, because you can learn from those debates, it is always the best if you can re, you know hear the two the two side of the story, right? No Muslims. They never really tell a side of a story. Actually, I wish Muslims they tell their side of the story. They don't. The Muslims they tell you nothing but fabrication about Islam, and this is the problem. Muslims are not ordered to be truthful. They order to be to lie. So a Muslim he will not tell you a truthful story about Islam. Don't expect a Muslim to tell you about Islam true story. <coughs> And this is the major problem when you speak to Muslims. They are dishonest. Which means, in order to make a Muslim tell you what Islam is about, you need to drag him to, to say it. You need to trick him to say it. They don't. You see, the Muslim, they, like now, uh, Islam is about peace. Islam, you know, the Quran says, uh, is, you know, uh, if you kill an innocent man, blah blah blah. But this is not what the Quran is saying. And but they will show you the verse, but the verse doesn't mean what they are saying. Why does the Allah calling the names of the Christians and the Jews in the Quran? Actually, Allah he did not call the Christians Christians in the Quran. The stupid Muhammad, he called the Christians Nasara, and Nasara are not Christians. Those are cult. And Muhammad, he was married to one of them. And Khadija is that one. <clears throat> so uh, uh, Muhammad never mentioned uh, the word a Christian in the whole Quran. And that additional reason to believe Muhammad is a false man. Because how come he do not know what the name of the Christian is? Uh, Nasari, no, you see, <clears throat> the word Nasara is coming from the word poor, you know, uh, a poor. Uh, the Christians they gave those a group the name poor, but not poor in the in the blessed way. It's a poor like those who have a poor understanding of the gospel. So they, they start calling in the poor. They have a poor understanding, and they are rejected. All right. So Muhammad he adopted that name. Why? Because all those who they are around him, they are from the poor. The Nasara are a cult. They are not Christians. The Nasara they are a cult. If you have my book, you will you will see. Um, you know I speak about it, and actually in my coming book I will speak about it too, <clears throat> in details. Uh, you see those those Nasara, uh, as an example, one of their uh, ideas, uh, you know, Muhammad he took from their ideas and he adopted. He took some, and he rejected some. So he rejected that they believe that Jesus is the Son of God, but he took from them that. Jesus was not in the cross. So those Nasara, they believe that Jesus was not crucified. And the reason for them, not because uh, the, as Muhammad in the story, uh, they believe that because Jesus is son of God, there's no way the Father will let him be in the cross. So they believe, if you remember in the Quran, the Quran says the following. Muhammad adopted the teaching of the Nasara. 
The Nasara they say that God the Father, He placed someone have the look of Jesus on the cross. He placed someone, He looked like Jesus. All right. If you go to chapter four, verse number one fifty-seven, <clears throat> it says, "They say, they say who the Jews, we killed Jesus, the son of Mary." But they killed him not, nor crucified him. But it was made to appear to them. And this is what the Nasara believe. Yeah, maybe if I, I don't know him. If you like, you know, if he can, he can contact me. <clears throat> so Muhammad, he adopted this story. Those Nasara, they don't want to believe that Jesus was on the cross and yes they saw Jesus on the cross but they believe that it must be a replacement somebody have the physical body of Jesus but there's no way Jesus is on the cross Muhammad he adopted the idea this is why you see Muhammad he is not speaking about the Christian they say he is speaking about the Jews they say you know what I mean look they said they said in the po in, we killed who is the one who said we killed the Christians the Christian never say we killed correct the Christians never say we killed Jesus who is the one say we killed the Jews so Muhammad adopted that and he learned that from those Nasara yes Exactly, that the, the Nasara they, they became extreme in their ideas about Jesus that because he is the Son of God, so there is no way that the Father will let him go in the cross. Let us say they are not bad people, you know, they are not bad people, but they became they went so far understanding the verses far away from its meaning because the verses says clearly that Jesus he was on the cross and he said etc so the Nasara most likely they were following what it's what it's called the the, the, the fake Gospels there's Gospels are rejected and Muhammad obviously he took a lot of stories from there as an example Muhammad he took from them from the Nasara the story of Jesus creating from the mother bird all right that is a story believed by the Nasara, not by us. In our Bible, we don't have such a story, right? Yeah, the, the agnostic. Yeah. So those those Bibles is where they get in their resource from, and obviously Muhammad he adopt most of the stories from there. So those Nasara are cult; they are not Christians. Anyone who reject the crucifixion of Jesus. He is no Christian. That's it. If you don't accept that he was crucified, you are you are out. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim have any question? And actually, by adopting this story, Muhammad, he made a big mistake because if Muhammad is saying that Allah supposedly is the one who is saving Jesus and he made them believe it is Jesus, that means the Christian's story about Jesus being crucified is true. Why? Even the Quran witnessing that they saw someone look like Jesus on the cross. So when the Christian in their Bible is written, that Jesus was a crucified, they are not lying, that's what they saw. It's not their fault if Allah made it appear or not. You know what I mean? That's it, that's what they saw. If if you are if you go to court and the judge asks you, Did you see? Let us say you were witness, an eyewitness in the time of Jesus, and the judge asks you, Did you see Jesus in the cross? You say yes. Can somebody claim you to be a liar? No. Because it's what you saw. So when the Quran confirmed 
that he was in the cross but it was not him he just confirmed the story in the Bible to be true and the Christians are saying the true story because this is what appeared to them and what is matter for us is what they saw they cannot witness false by saying something they did not see true witnesses is the one who say what they saw correct so this verse in the Quran confirming the crucifixion of Jesus with no question what the Muslim will say to me well Allah he was uh, faking it I don't care this is what we saw and the Quran confirmed that Allah made it appear to us none of my business we believe in what we saw a guy he comes 600 years after Jesus he never been with Jesus and then he come with a story saying it was not him it was an appearance That will not make any difference for me. You just confirmed to me that this is exactly what happened. And that confirmed that my Bible is a true Bible. And your Quran is a fiction story. Because why why in the world Allah want to make it appear to them? It doesn't make sense. If Allah want to save him, he can save him without making anyone appear. Do Allah knew, but by making someone look like Jesus on the cross, Christians or Christianity will be created? Because all the Christianity is based on the crucifixion of Jesus. <clears throat> the top, the top action of the Messiah, it was the crucifixion. So why Allah, he made the Christians see Jesus crucified when he is not? He is deceiving them? If you say so, no problem. That means Allah is said shaitan. Because he is the one who made the Christians the Christians. Right? Well, Muhammad, as usual, he have no evidence of anything. When he went to heaven, he went alone. When he had sex with his wife, even sex with his wife, he was alone. I never heard of somebody having sex alone. At least you have you need a woman with you, except Muhammad. Even his sex was alone. This guy he have no witnesses for anything. The angel come, the angel go. They ask him, Do you have miracles? He says, Allah, he refrained from sending miracles. Why? Because when Allah he sent the 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 the, the she camel for the people of Saleh. Uh, they treated badly. Oh, what the heck? <clears throat> Any Abdul? <sighs> Somebody made a petition. <laughs> That's a good one. Let me see this one. Let me see what. Hold on. What is that? <clears throat> see debate between Shabir Ali and. <coughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <coughs> okay, let me show you what what somebody sent me. That's a funny one. Uh, somebody is signing a petition to make Shabir Ali there to debate me. A petition, Shabir Ali and the Christian Prince. See debate between Shabir Ali versus Christian Prince. Hovins fans, Australia. I'm not sure who is this. Okay. Opens and transparency. Okay. The petition will be delivered to Shabir Ali and the Christian Prince. <clears throat> Read the letter. Okay. What is the letter? Uh, I, 
I don't see it. That's all right. All right. Maybe you need to sign, maybe. I don't know. Uh, start the petition with the single the signature. There is something we occur. What <coughs> start petition to create a change? Okay, <clears throat> I assure you, my friend, if you sign one million petition, Shaber Ali will not do it. You are wasting your time. Not even Allah petitioned to Shaber Ali will make him do it. He knew exactly what would happen if he did it. But uh, it's a nice try. <clears throat> News. All right. Hmm. Any Abdul? I mean, today we are really, it's very dry. We have no Abdul, nobody call, no debater, no Muslim argument. What's happening here? Allah knows best. Allah knows best, and this is why He know that the man is sperm coming from the backbone, which is proven by science. <clears throat> Yeah, well, Shabir Ali, he claimed to be Sunni, but I, I have a doubt about that, actually. This guy, he adopted a lot of the Ahmadiyya teaching. No? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Guys, tomorrow be with us at 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. We will be in the show with this uh, group. And you are welcome. I will be in YouTube. So you be here, you come here. And they will have their own radio, whatever it's called. And we will see how good it's going to be. All right? So I want to say thank you for being here. And remember what we, what we advised from the beginning about this video. I'm not going to keep this video up. But remember one thing. That we as a Christians, it doesn't matter really what the name of the church we go to. What is matter is what we believe in. Salvation is not by a church name. And the Lord, he made it so clear that people, they call my names. People, they say, we believe in you. People, they say, we are Christians. People, they claim to do miracles in my name. That all will not count. What will count, he said clearly. From their fruits, you will not you will know them. And whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So to believe in him, and to believe in him means to believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion, the resurrection, the coming back, uh, the, the virgin birth, uh, uh, the, he's the word of God, etc. And then the one do the will of my father, which means everything he asks us to do. Is required we are not saved automatically just because we just believe he don't accept hypocrisy this is not Islam we are not Muslims in Islam you say Shahada Muhammad he gave them 1,000 promise like if you say Allah 99 time you are saved if you say that the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim 100 time you get whatever blessing if you say uh, Allahu Akbar uh, 40 time 44 time so those are stupid things you know we, we Christianity is not about ritual practice and then you go to heaven because you did the ritual who care for the ritual if you are filthy who care for the rituals if you don't mean it who you who care for the ritual who care for your prayer if your prayer is not coming from your heart 
Islam is about ritual prayer on time if you miss it you you are in trouble because it's a stupid religion as of God he is a machine and this machine have a window and this window will open from 12 p.m. to 12 15 if you miss the window the window will be closed so we don't believe in such a garbage so you go to church whatever church you go to just be sure there are believers in the Bible <clears throat> in the Word of God in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit in the resurrection and the crucifixion and they believe too that whoever deny the Father and the Son he is an Antichrist which means they acknowledge Islam to be a false religion because the Bible say clearly whoever deny the Father and the Son is an Antichrist so just be sure that you are following the true faith not following a true name a church name you think is a true name for there's no names will see will, will, will be located in the front of the Lord we are called the Christians we are not called Protestant we are not called Catholic we are not called Orthodox he will know us from our fruits not from our names you call yourself Christian you call yourself uh, uh, Christian Prince uh, Joseph James uh, Juliet or whatever you call yourself those names doesn't count for the Lord he will know you from your fruits so the day will come when you will be asked remember the story in the Bible about the master and his servants who he gave them investment so yes the Lord he gave us investment there's someone he is selfish there's someone is afraid there's someone he want to bury it there's someone he want to bring it more make it double and there's someone he will make it a three time and the one who will be blessed more is the one who bring more Christians to the Lord not more money he don't he don't want your money so your fruit is how many people you make them believe in the Messiah and you don't come one day in front of his face and you say I am alone well he sent you he was alone anyway so what you what you did so you spend your life you live for 70 80 years and you just came alone you cannot even save your own son or daughter you cannot convince them to believe in Jesus so what what your life was for were just eating drinking sleeping right <clears throat> so uh, this is what is important for us not the names of the churches all the churches are my church and actually a church is not a building church is us we can pray in a field we can worship in a mountain we can worship in a basement actually early Christians they worship in the basements they never have a church they were hiding their prayer because they don't even dare to pray in front of strangers they were hunted killed slaughtered they feed them to animals all of this just because they are Christians none of them said I am a Catholic none of them says I'm Protestant those names have nothing to do really with being a Christian being a Christian is just to believe in the Messiah and to be truthful to him and to yourself anything else it doesn't count thank you for listening may the Lord bless you and until we see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. New York time Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon again God bless